A warm welcome to the students of BCom or BBA fifth semester. The session is on the subject entrepreneurship development or management. Unit three, formation of small scale industry. The topic which will be covered is relating to identification of location for starting and small scale industry and various clearances and permits to be obtained to set up a small or micro enterprises in our country. The contents which will be discussed in this session are introduction and background to setting a small scale industry, location identification and factors to be considered for selecting an ideal or good location. We shall also discuss about the clearances and permits, permits required for a micro, small and medium enterprises to be established. Firstly, let's discuss about the location factors. After deciding on the project, the most important and the next question which decision an entrepreneur has to make is about location of the plant or the project. An ideal location choice not only saves the cost of poor quality, but also enhances profits and productivity. Location of plant should be fixed in such a manner that the stakeholders or beneficiaries of the enterprise can get the required resources support easily at a minimum cost. Therefore, an entrepreneur devotes more time in selecting the best location. Selecting a place to locate the proposed unit is a real challenge to an entrepreneur. It is said that good location is half sold. If the proposed unit is located in a place where it satisfies all locational needs, the unit will go smooth to sale. Otherwise, it proves total a cost incurring will be high and several factors will affect the business. Selection of a site of a location is decided by several factors. The factors are whether the enterprise is a new one or already established one or a unit which has to be expanded, decentralized or diversified. Or if an ongoing unit is leased one and the renewal of lease is not possible or the existing location is to be abandoned. In any of these circumstances, a new site has to be identified for location. Selection and use of a site, site is governed by several factors. Factors to be considered for selection of a location. Further, each factor is influenced by a number of other factors too. Therefore, a thorough analysis of the location to be selected is to be undertaken by the entrepreneur before he selects a particular site. The issues to be examined are as follows. Nearness or proximity to market. An entrepreneur has to make sure the location which he selected is close to bring both raw materials and shift or transfer the finished goods. The plant is, should be situated in such a place where you can get better and quicker services. The factors which influence him is availability of raw materials. For the successful of operation of an industry, it is good that plant is centrally located and directly connected to the raw materials market or it should be connected to the highways where bringing in raw materials should not be an issue. The next factor is availability of trans transformation and communication facilities. It is necessary to communicate to the outer world quickly and faster. Hence, internet facility is must. Therefore, it should be well connected and well established location. And the government provides certain schemes and concessions for locating industries in backward areas. So that benefit can also be drawn if you identify a location which is in the backward area. Today's government industrial policy is focusing on expansion, rapid diversification and growth. So these factors should be considered and given prime importance. Infrastructure facilities includes availability of banks, storage facilities for both dry storage and cold storage. And it is necessary for the labor availability. Availability of labor makes sure the smooth functioning of the business and 
availability of labor will also save on the labor cost. It has to be convenient for the labor to move from one location, that is from their residence to their workplace. And it should also be convenient to the entrepreneur himself because he has to manage his enterprise on a day-to-day -day basis. And as mentioned, the government tax concessions is based upon the location of the enterprise. Infrastructure includes banking and other service which affects the functioning of an enterprise. Look at the unit at the place where banking, postal and insurance services are well developed. The business location should be selected by determining whether the selected place qualifies for government economic incentives. By calculating the different tax features, the businessman can decide the most feasible location. Keeping in mind the above factors, an entrepreneur should try to locate this enterprise that offers him maximum possible benefits and have minimum possible negative points. So hope you understood what are the factors to be considered for selection of a good location for setting and micro, small or medium enterprises. Let's now discuss about the various clearances and permits required for establishing and small scale industries. For setting up SSI, the following clearances and permits are required to be obtained from the concerned authorities. Small scale industries, ancillary units and tiny enterprises should obtain provisional registration certificate from the district industrial centers. Environment clearance certificate should be obtained from Government of India. No NOC, no objection certificate should be obtained from Pollution Control Board. Permission for the building layout needs to be taken from Gram Panchayat or Urban Development Authority. Need to get power feasibility from the State Electricity Board. It is necessary to obtain water supply services from local bodies. Sales tax registration from Commercial Tax Department. Registration and license according to the Factories Act. Provident fund and ESI registration should be obtained. So there are a number of statutory clearances required for starting micro and small enterprises. As discussed, some of them are given below. For agricultural land conversion into non-agricultural land, NOC has to be obtained. Building plan should be approved by the local authorities. Factories Act and Labor Department should give approval of the proposed project. Trade license should be obtained from the local authorities and clearances should be obtained from Pollution Control Board. To discuss other clearances and permits are should obtain provisional registration certificate from the district industrial center, sales tax registration from commercial tax department, and as mentioned earlier, provident fund and employee state insurance registration should also be made. So in this session, we have discussed in detail about factors to be considered for locating and small or micro and medium scale enterprises. And we shall also move on to understand the clearances and permits required. The next session we'll be discussing about licensing procedure. Hope this session has helped you in learning both the concepts in detail. Thank you for continuously engaging in e-learning and this will help you to prepare better in your examination. Thank you dear students.